The Mahia Peninsula sticks out like a sore thumb just south of Gisborne. It is a beautiful place with rolling hills that hit the ocean and a series of bays and beaches. As well as superb fishing, the area is a great place to dive and wrecks like the Tasmania add to the appeal. This area is a tremendous place to kick back and enjoy a very good time. There we go, Ray. Go and help someone and leave your rod in the hole to bait it and downstairs and wallop. Ah. Yeah, not bad, I think, mate. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yes! Beauty! Right. Just got to wait for the gaff now because we're getting them. Uh, we're getting them quick. Swing them around that way. Excellent. Thanks, mate. God, good stuff. What great fishing. We had to cheat when it came to fishing because the wind zipped in at a shade over 25 knots. When the cameraman succumbed to seasickness before the line hit the bottom, we knew we were fighting a losing battle. Next day, and not very far away, I had a taste of the sort of action that can be commonplace around spots like the Lachlan Bank. This particular day was a beauty. Here we go. Oh, guess what? Guess what? Yeah, a kingy and a cooter. And this is hope that that. Great. I'll have that for a change. Man. Fantastic. Look at that old Jake the Snake here. Oh, I might just be able to quit him. Oh wow, look at the size of that. Albatross. What a beautiful bird. Wow. Look at the size of that. Righto mate. Spin around, they should start coming in here with a bit of luck. Yep, we're in. <laughs> we're off. See you around. It ain't no mutton bird. If it's a mutton bird, it can hold its breath. Gee, look at him. Look at the fish. Saltwater fly fishing is just superb fun as an adjunct to uh, any of your fishing activity. It doesn't take much of an investment in gear. And uh, it's great sport. Wow, look at the fish! Look at this! Woohoo! Man! Yeah, I know. Whoa, look at that! Woohoo! He's off! His mates are leaving him behind and he's not too keen. <laughs> Come on, little fella. But I'd kind of like to see the fish, but you just still got to watch out. I can put a lot of weight on with 10 kilos, but you don't want to rip the fly out of the fish's mouth. I mean, I'd love to have a go at fish like that on two or four. I don't have any two or four on the boat. Man. Would you normally use the boat to help play that or not? Yeah, yeah, you're free to use the boat. But you've got it, yeah, you normally would. Not a bad fish. Might be a trevally. 
one of the engines won't go into reverse. With saltwater fly fishing, you've got to be in neutral when you cast the fly to the fish, but after that you can start your engine or, or put your engine in gear again and get after the fish. We're just a little bit handicapped at the moment because one of our morse controls has uh, packed a bit of a sad and we can't reverse. So we're fighting it from what's called a dead boat, which adds to the challenge. Dead boat meaning it's, the boat is dead in the water and uh, all the engines are shut down. <laughs> Gisborne is a fisher, he offers a great variety of things. They uh, catch marlin here, have a very active uh, sport fishing club. Marlin, big sharks, sure are broadbill. The commercial boys get broadbill here, so we know they're there. And a host of other species such as snapper and kingfish and harpooka and trumpeter and blue cod. Tira Key. Blue nose. Blue nose from the from the wings. Anything else? Barracudas. Cuda, they're really proud of their barracuda schools here. <laughs> oh, this is a bit of a bugger, mate. He's buddy out at an angle of about 40 degrees. Do you want to drive up uh, The only downside to saltwater fly fishing is that it can be a little selfish. It swallows up time that only the angler is able to fully utilise. Fishing out of my ray glass when there's only two of us aboard, saltwater fly fishing is great. We both get a turn, driving and fishing. Scores of kawai and trevally seethed everywhere. It was hard to know which of the two this was. Like the world record uh, at the moment on 10 kilo tippet for a kawai is only 3 kilos. Is that right? Yeah, I know, because I've got it. <laughs> so, I mean... Yeah, oh, here we go, there's a fly line. So if this happened to be a good car, why? No, this is a fly line. It's about 30 feet. Yeah, net or a little gaff. Net landing there would be good. We've actually got an excellent game fishery here. It's just that we have a very short season. Yeah. It was only two, three seasons ago that we were actually first in the interclub section of the Marlin. Really? Yeah. How many did you get? Um, it's just done on the top six, six fish over the nationals. Oh, okay. Um, it's a point system. I think that year for the season, the, the club got about 45. And they were a hell of a lot lost. Just, you know, guys just weren't used to them. You know, just had an awesome bloody marlin season. Considering we're only talking, you know, sort of 30, 30 boats fishing for them, if you're lucky. Trevor Lake. Come on, last little bit by the boat, there's always a bit of a bugger. Strong fish, wow, that's a great. Thank you. Actually, that's not a bad wee treff. That ain't a bad treff. Excellent. That's a good trip out. Now, it took a bit of a, a bit of time. Hey, buddy. He wasn't getting off there. Yeah, no wonder I kept the we had to keep the pressure on it. Just worn a big hole in his lip. Yeah. Is that worth one? I don't know. I don't think it's sort of New Zealand record stuff or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, a good scrap all the same. So there's a, a Trevally. We might even uh, give someone else a go, I think. Good fun. 